Hi, and welcome to Deep Dish Vegan. I'm your host, Diane. Today we'll be making ravioli in a cream sauce and sausage stuffed zucchini with tiramisu as dessert. Let's start on, on our dessert first, our tiramisu, and um, we're going to make the lady finger cookies. So I have three cups of unbleached all-purpose flour. I have a cup of cane sugar. I have two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, a third cup of maple syrup, and a half a cup of rice milk. Now, if you don't have rice milk, feel free to use soy milk or almond milk. So, I'm going to sift our three cups of unbleached all-purpose flour. If you don't have um if you don't have a sister, that's fine. You could use um a regular strainer or you could just um apply a whole lot of elbow grease. Sifting your dry ingredients will um make your batter lighter, more airy, and um it will reduce the amount of clumps in your um dry ingredients when you're mixing it. Okay, so I have uh, Earth Balance Buttery Spread. I'm going to use a, a half a cup of it, and we're going to pour this into our drying grease. And with a wooden spoon, I'm going to uh, blend the butter into our dry ingredients. Okay, so we're going to use our maple syrup, and I'm just going to pour this in slowly, and we're just going to mix it in. Okay, we're going to gradually add our rice milk. Remember, if you don't have rice milk, then you could use soy milk. I just don't... Um, I particularly don't like soy milk, so um, you'll see that I'll, I use a lot of rice milk and almond milk because soy milk is so overly processed. Okay, so our oven's preheating at 350, and we're going to take about a tablespoon of our cookie dough. We're just going to roll it out. Um, it's sticky enough that it doesn't need that your surface actually doesn't need to be floured. I'm just going to roll it into the shape of a finger. Woo! Scary! It looks like a real finger. And I'm just going to put it into my cookie, cookie pan, which is um, greased and floured. I'm just going to repeat this process until you're all done with your cookie dough. Okay, so our oven's at 350 degrees, and um, we're going to put our lady fingers into the oven. For about 8 to 10 minutes. While our cookies are in the oven baking, we're going to stir together um, a cup of strong coffee, or espresso and a half a cup of liquor, whatever liquor you choose. Um, you can use Kahlua. Um, I'm using uh, Di Sirono, uh Amaretto liquor. And um, now if your guests or if you can't consume alcohol, then I would suggest you use almond extract as a uh, substitute, or um, even vanilla extract, or even anise extract. That's really fun to play with in the kitchen. You can use to dip our cookies into. And so I'm just going to um, fill a shallow bowl with our mixture. Okay? So our lady fingers are done. It's been eight minutes.
and they puffed up really nicely. They're golden brown around the edges, just like we like them. Okay, so we're going to let our cookies cool down completely before dipping them into our coffee and liquor mixture. down, uh, we're going to get started on our whipped cream. I have three-fourths cup of confectioner sugar. I have a teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're going to use a teaspoon of our coffee and amaretto mixture. And I have two cans of uh, coconut milk with the complete fat that I let sit overnight in the refrigerator to um, solidify and thicken uh, for our whipped cream. So what you want to do is you want to clean you want to clean off the, the bottom of your can. And we're going to puncture a hole into the, wow, we're going to puncture a hole into the bottom of our coconut can. And we're going to drain our coconut milk of its excess, excess liquid. We don't need this. Don't throw this away because this is good. You can make coconut rice with this coconut milk and you could use this coconut milk in cereal so you don't want to throw this coconut milk away you want to buy um, a good brand of coconut milk so I like this brand because it's really good, it's really thick and it's heavy you don't want to buy the light version you want the complete fat and um, the reason why we're going to be using the, the teaspoon of the coffee and liquor uh, for the whipped cream is to cut the coconut taste because we don't want our um, our guests or uh, whoever you're serving your food to or even you, I don't want you to taste the coconut flavor in the whipped cream. And it's solidified because it was in the refrigerator. And we're going to uh, repeat the same process for the other can. We're going to add the teaspoon of vanilla extract. Let's add our sugar to the mixture. And our last ingredient for the whipped cream is our coffee and liquor. Our cookies have cooled. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a spatula to separate our cookies. going to dip it, dip our, our cookies into the shallow bowl. And we're going to place them into a clear uh, pan. And now we're going to take our whipped cream with a spatula and shave chocolate. Okay, so we're just going to cover our last layer with uh, chocolate shavings and we're going to put this in the refrigerator to chill for at least one hour. While the tiramisu is in the refrigerator chilling, we're going to get started on our filling for our ravioli. Uh, we'll be using tofu. I have extra firm tofu. Um, I'm going to be using half of it, so that's about 7 ounces of a block of tofu. Um, I have a teaspoon of nutritional yeast flakes. Um, nutritional yeast flakes are great because they give um, food a cheese-like, uh, nutty flavor. And we're going to be using a uh, half a teaspoon of ground black pepper. We're going to be using a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. 
and we're going to use a fourth a teaspoon of sea salt. I have a lemon. I'm going to use only about a teaspoon of lemon. And so I'm just going to cut our tofu in half. And we don't need the remainder of our tofu, so let's put this aside. And we can make something really great and delicious next time with that. And I'm just going to grade the tofu. Okay, so I'm going to take um, the back of a fork and mash it up even further. You could hear the, the water boiling. I'm, I'm boiling water uh, for the ravioli um, just to get a head start on it, but we haven't made our dough yet. I just want to season our tofu. So let's just throw in our teaspoon of nutritional yeast flakes, our black pepper, our Italian seasoning, and our salt. about a teaspoon of, le of fresh lemon juice. And we're using the lemon juice because the lemon juice gives um, our tofu the tangy taste that you could find in the ricotta cheese. You just want to mix everything until everything is blended really nicely. while we get started on making our dough for our ravioli. Okay, so we're going to be making our ravioli from scratch. That's right, from scratch. So we have a lot of water boiling. I'm just going to put some salt in it. We're going to put about a tablespoon of oil in the water so that our pasta does not stick. And um, let me just mix that. Okay. So I have two cups of unbleached all-purpose flour. I have one. I have a half a cup of semolina flour. I have a teaspoon of sea salt. I have three tablespoons of oil. I have a cup of vegetable broth. We're using vegetable broth instead of water, but if you don't have vegetable broth in your refrigerator or in your cupboards, then feel free to use water. But I'm using vegetable broth for extra flavor in our dough. So let's uh, throw in our two cups of unbleached all-purpose flour our half a cup of semolina flour. Semolina flour is great for making pasta. And we're going to use a teaspoon of our sea salt. And we're just going to mix our dry ingredients together. 